Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Penny LS1 checking in once again. As I always say, real quick. So, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of reels, and I follow. I post a lot of YouTube shorts, but Instagram will get the information before I post a full-length video on YouTube. So, as y'all can see, I painted the core support, the top portion, and I mentioned in my short or my reel, it was raining when I painted this, so it took forever to, to cure or dry. But also, that next morning it was supposed to hail, and I had the fenders in the backyard sitting on the horses, so I brought those in because I didn't want them to get hit with hail damage, and I didn't have nowhere to put them, so I had to mount them back up. So in doing so, I scratched it up, or nicked it actually, so good, two good chips. So what I'm gonna end up doing is, um, I'm gonna feather edge that out, but I'm gonna hit the whole piece with some uh, 600 wet, and then I'm just gonna give it another coat. So this is single stage, Summit Racing is their line of it's a hot rod flat line, but this is satin. That line comes in gloss, semi gloss, satin, and flat. I'll show it to you over here. So today I'm getting ready to actually spray some more of this. But this is it right here hot rod, single stage. So and part number, and that's see, it's black satin. So you only have to mix this with activator. You can reduce it if you need to, and then this this is for the epoxy. So, like I say, it's uh it mixes four to one, and then obviously the epoxy is one to one. So let me take you in the back, show you what I'm working on. Getting ready to paint some some more satin black today. All right, so I got a lot going on today, so I'm I'm trying to get this fender liner. I'm gonna wet sand this. This is ready for color, so maybe in a separate video. I'm spraying color on that. That'll be my first go with the color. I gotta get this inside, this inner fender. It's got some rust in certain areas. So I gotta get all that treated. I'm gonna epoxy this whole inner side. I'm gonna get this ready for color as well. But today for sure, I'm painting all the window trim with that satin black. That fender's ready to go. I mean, that inner fender's already been sand, wet sanded, so it's ready for sealer and color. I gotta finish getting this piece done and treat it there's some rust or maybe i can get it all off if i can get it all off unless it's pitted i might not have to treat it but we'll see and then i'm gonna go ahead and fix this as y'all saw in my last video where i had some type of reaction from the i don't know what that is i mean this paint on there that i sanded but when i started put i put some adhesive promoter on there maybe i shouldn't have done that but i'm gonna take this back down to the plastic so today i have a new product i'm going to use so as y'all can see, I got three boxes here. So y'all know I've been using an inflatable paint booth. The one that I currently have and been using is a 13 by eight by eight, I think. So big enough to, to, to spray a few parts. I was able to get two of those horses in the booth with a decent amount of room to walk around. Oh, and I'm, I'm also painting, as you can see down there, the lower windshield piece. So that's getting painted satin back today as well. But so this right here, this is a 20 by 11 and a half by nine. That's the brand name, War Sun. So I do wanna let y'all know, this is not a sponsored video, but this company did reach out to me. They saw the video of me using that other spray boo. They reached out to me on, on, um, on YouTube. I told them, to, you know, hit me up on Instagram. That way we can message back and forth. So what they wanted to do was send me this bigger paint boo to try out. Like I said, this is not sponsored. They did not pay me. They simply asked me if I was interested. I said, yes, I'm interested. They shipped this to me. They wanted me to just do an honest, honest review. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get it unboxed and show you what all comes in it. And then when I get done prepping all my parts over here, we'll go ahead and inflate it. And uh, we'll, we'll check it out. So let me get it unboxed and we'll see, what is, see what's all included. All right, so we got it unboxed. So it pretty much came with the same thing the other one came with. We got the two fans. Although the other one, one of the fans is actually smaller. So. But you got your little plastic stakes to actually hold the fans 
in the ground. I didn't, I didn't unopen, I didn't unwrap the fan. Let me show you. That way they don't fall over. Hold on. Hold on. The one handed. <laughs> Everybody, and it, uh, it's car show season, but it's allergy season. My allergy's kicking my butt. But let me get this, uh, let me get the fans out, and I will show you. If you don't already know, if you haven't used one of these before, and I'll put a link, I'll put an Amazon link in the description for this particular unit. So, if you look at the bottom, this one, see the holes on the feet of the fan? So that's where these yellow stakes go. That way it holds it holds it steady in case it tips over. Well, that way it won't tip over. And then in that green bag, it has some rope and some metal stakes that holds the... And I would suggest using these, but that way you can hold that down to the ground. And if you need to tie it, I think there's some string in here. Yeah, there's some string in here. If you need to tie the upper parts, Tie them off to either those stakes or to a to a tree or something. But I'm gonna roll it out real quick and show you how long it is. So let me set this up. I'm gonna put it over. I'm gonna have to put it over there. It won't fit where I had this other one. So let me roll it out and then I'll come back and uh, get you a little closer. Okay, this thing is heavy and it's big. Shit. <laughs> I don't know which way I want to put it. Oh, the, the inlet's over here, so I'm gonna put it over there because my outlet is over there. So let me put it on this end and roll it this way. Sheesh. Okay. Get that thing big as hell. Okay, so y'all can already see how much longer it is <laughs> than the other one. So, like I say, is is probably big enough to put mini skirt in there. Only problem is I can't get mini skirt in the backyard, but and I don't want to do it in a driveway. But it's pretty damn long, so I'm just gonna unfold it just so that it can. I mean, you don't need need to air out or anything, but because as soon as you plug them fans up, it literally inflates on demand. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it unfolded. When I come back, when I cut y'all back on. I'm gonna be airing it up, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish sanding these pieces, getting everything prepped. We're gonna get some satin black spray today. And if I'm lucky, I'll make a separate video when I finish that. We're gonna spray some color on these inner fenders so I can see what that pearl is gonna look like.
right, well, there you have it. That sucker pretty big. I thought I was gonna have to cut them branches, but, or push it, push it back that way some, but it's fine. So let's go inside, check it out. It's long, it's definitely long enough to put mini skirt in. I don't know if it's wide, it's wide enough, but you won't it'd be pushing it close on uh, having room to walk around. But what I like about this one so far from what I can see, the fan that's on the left, you see that dark gray tube going up and over? Let me show you, that's the intake air. So that's blowing fresh air in and it's coming, it's filtered in. So it's coming through here. So you got fresh air, you see that? So fresh air coming in through this whole piece right here. And then it's got two giant filters on the side for exhaust and they're double, double layer actually. Cause you got this green on the outside and then there's this black, the black one on, on the back side of it. So both sides like that. We got loops if you want to hang some lights or something. There's loops going across up there, all the way down here. Also got one right there, one over here. And we got some, some straps. I'm not sure what you use this for, but got some straps. There's another loop up here. I think that's a loop, yep, loop up here. And one over there. Then of course you got your, this is where you come in and bring your parts in or if you want to drive your vehicle in, that's going to be the door that you come in and out since it's smaller. Now I don't see where I would run my hose. I probably would run it on this end since I'm not going to be coming in and out and I would just probably, well I mean you only got but one option, just run it through there where the double zipper's at and just zip it up as close as you can get it so there's no provision for the hose to come in. But man, this thing is huge. I put the dimensions up on the screen right here, but man. So of course the external dimensions are bigger than the internal, but this is still way wider than the one that I currently previously was using. And obviously it's really, it's longer. It's twice as long almost. So like I say, I think I can get the car in here. Well, I know I can get it in here because my garage ain't this deep. But width wise, it's a little bit wider than the single car but you still be tight on getting on the sides. But I honestly think it's big enough, so I'm gonna mess around and paint miniskirt in this boot. I just need to find somewhere to do it because like I said, I can't get the car back here in the backyard. And if I decide to do it in the front yard, my driveway is on an incline and I really don't want to do that. So, so let's get some parts in here. Let me get my, my horses in here to get set up and um, we're gonna spray some uh, some epoxy primer first, and then we're gonna come in, come back with the, man, the thing is huge. We'll come back with the satin black, but this is what I was talking about. See how it's got the black filter on the outside? So it's got that green one on the inside and the black one, so it's double filtered. And of course I'm on the grass, so I got picking up all kind of stuff. But this thing, man, I like it already. Shout out to War Sun. Appreciate you for hitting me up, asking me if I would try it out, because I'm definitely gonna put it to use. Look how big this thing is. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, well, let me get some horses set up in there. We'll get some parts. Let me go get my compressor. I haven't pulled that out. I'm gonna plug the compressor right here so it'll be under the shade. So I got the stench core ran right there for the compressor. So, all right, let's get to it. All right, so I got everything set up. Got my trim in here. I wet sanded it with 320. See, I got some burn through. So like I said, I'm gonna put epoxy primer on it first. Got the top plate. As good as I wanted, there's a bunch of pits, but I thought about putting some 2K primer on top of the um, epoxy to, so I can body work it, but I'm probably just not gonna worry about it. Like I say, you probably really won't see that. And then I got the windshield, lower windshield piece right here. And the other two for the, I believe, one's for the, wait, the top of the, oh yeah, one's for the front, one for the, the rear top. So we're gonna go ahead and get you set up. I already got my primer mixed up. So I'm gonna put you on a tripod and uh, we're gonna get some get spraying. All right, I don't know if y'all can hear me, but we at about 25 PSI. I'm gonna try it, spray it with this and see what we look like. So we're gonna go with this piece first.
don't look too bad. Nah, I'm not gonna body work it. There's some pits up here, but it look all right. I don't know. I might I can probably wipe some wipe some fill, filler on it. So I might do that. I might uh, 2K prime that piece and wipe some filler on. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So if you look right there, see those dimples. So what I might do is 2K this piece. That way I can put some uh, body filler on it and block it. But the rest of it looks pretty straight. So let's just go ahead and hit these pieces and, and get it done. Not bad. Alright, so we got the first coat of epoxy. The trim come the trim looks pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do two coats of epoxy on the trim, and then we're gonna hit it with the satin black. There is a small little ding right there. I don't know if you can see it, if it's coming out on camera. Right there, you can kind of see it. I'm not gonna worry about that. But on this piece I will. So what I've decided to do, I'm gonna go ahead and spray this one, two coats of epoxy, and then see here. I always be forgetting when I have to get like I cleaned up the rust with a 60 grit flap disc and I forgot to come back over and smooth those 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 uh, sand scratches out so anyway I'm gonna do that but I'm gonna two 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 layers of uh, or two coats of two excuse me two coats of epoxy and then I'm gonna do a coat or then I'm gonna do um two coats of 2k primer man I missed all of that like not just not the dents but that whatever I didn't even send that but anyway we'll block it out so like I said I'm gonna do two coats of epoxy I'm going to come back with two coats of 2K, and I'm going to probably put some body filler on there. I actually did use a hammer and dolly on this piece because it was actually kind of bent in. You can see that crease right there. See, this side is flat. So it was actually worse than that. So I'm going to skim coat it with some body filler after I 2K primer it. So we're going to be all right on that. And then the lower piece on the windshield, that one looks like it's coming out okay. 
I didn't go too crazy on the sand because this, this piece is so damn flimsy. There's one little crease, looks like right here. The rest of it though, but there's one right there too. So I'll probably, I don't know, man. I kind of rushed it because I wanted to test out this booth, but yeah, that paint, that, that's going to show through the paint. So what I'll probably do, I'm going to move that piece over here with this one because so these two are going to get 2K primer. These pieces right here are good to go. So these will just get two, two coats of epoxy and then I'm gonna hit it with the flat black or the satin black. So, but one thing I like about this one over the other one is the roof. The other one had a clear roof. So light comes in, but this one is, is white or silver, but it's, it's, it's white, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's transparent. So the light comes through, but it's not clear. So it basically, it, um, makes it acts as a large soft box so as you can see there's no shadows in here whereas on the other one the sun was coming through the roof and you can see the sun rays on one part and shadows on the other so that's one thing i do like about this one um so far one thing that i noticed that i did like is the the uh the the clean air the fan is actually smaller than the one that i had on the other one so i actually use i put that one on here actually i put the blow up fan on this one so I'm running a 550 watt and a 750 watt. I think it came with a, but anyway, so I mean, it really, it doesn't matter which one blow it up. Cause as you can see, it's staying up, but I did add the bigger fan to the, uh, the fresh air so that it can move, move more air, but it works pretty good. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna let this, this, this primer has a 30 minute flash time. I mean, it's, it's, it's 83 degrees outside and it's probably 85 ish in here. So, 30 minutes is what it says, so we're gonna wait 30 minutes. It might not, it probably won't even take that long. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and move these pieces around. I'm gonna put that bottom windshield piece, well, I mean these two trim pieces, I'm gonna move over there, and I'm gonna get that top air box piece move over here since that's gonna get 2K primer along with this one. I'm not gonna worry about cross-contaminating. I'm gonna spray that primer before I, before I spray the color, so we'll be good to go. All right, man, so let me get let me let, give this 30 minutes and uh, we'll come back. But yeah, man, your boy looking rough today. <laughs> need to shave but but like i said man i'm not a professional this is a uh, diy project well, i'm learning as i go like i said i learned a lot by watching my uncle being in the booth with him a couple of times even way back when we were in high school together i think i was a i was a freshman and they were juniors so and we had a uh, auto auto mechanic as a vocational class auto body and auto mechanics so he would come in basically during our class period and paint cars and then sometimes we would do it after school so i'm taking what i learned from that and then from just doing my research taking some of my ce classes for for my job i'm learning all around body work mechanic paint <laughs> so a well-rounded diy if you will so like i said i'm not a professional so do your research before you try to do any anything that you see me doing so don't blame me if you screw it up because I'm, I'm making mistakes as i go along but i know how to fix it so just like i say just do your research Get, you know, read the tech data, the, I mean the tech sheets, read all the data on the paint before you go and spray. And then like I say, this booth is so far so good, man. I like it. I sure appreciate you for uh, for reaching out to me. It's gonna, I'm going to put a link down in the description for this particular one. You can get it on Amazon. And uh, yeah, don't talk about my compressor. I'm just using the 200 PSI. I think this is a 20 gallon. It's not big. What is it? I don't even remember. Yeah, 20 gallon. See this? You can see the specs right there. It does pretty good for some, like, say, for small parts. Obviously, if you're gonna be, like, if I decide to paint my car in here, I'm gonna go ahead and purchase the 60 gallon one, which I should have bought when I got this one. But my intent was not to. My intent was to have something just to spray small parts, and my garage doesn't have a a 220. So, like I said, we got about five more minutes on the uh, flash time. And I'm gonna go in there and spray a second coat. And then after that second coat, I'm going to spray those two pieces that I pointed out. I'm going to spray with 2K primer so that I can block before I put the color on that. But we're going to go ahead and spray the the the, uh, the window trims. We're going to go ahead and spray those with the satin black. So probably another hour I'll wrap this up. What I'll do is I'll deflate the tent. I mean the, the tent. I'll deflate the uh, the booth. And I'll just, like I said last time, I'll just leave it, leave it outside and let all the air just come out. And then when I get back tonight, if it's flat, then I'll go ahead and roll it up. Because as y'all may not know, it is a pain to uh, try to get it to fit back in the bag. Now, 
you do have two relief openings so there's one right here and there's one on the other side those are zippers so once you turn the, the fans off the inflation fan you unzip that and that'll help air escape it, let it deflate by itself then you just have to like i did lay on it <laughs> roll it up lay on it try to get as flat as you can before you roll it up and put it in the uh in the storage bag so so i'll come back uh check back in with y'all after i get to spraying this uh after i spray the second coat i'll come back and show y'all while i'm spraying a 2k primer and then when i spray the the satin black i just got done spraying the second coat of epoxy primer wanted to show y'all what gun i'm using nothing fancy i bought like i bought the husky compressor so while i was at it i went ahead and just picked this up so it is a hl uh hvlp i know i probably need a lvlp but like i say this works for doing small parts so this is what i've been primarily using for primer this one has a 1.4 tip it did come with a 1.8 as well i used that actually actually i'm gonna switch it out because i used the 1.8 when i shot the 2k and this is the one that i'm going to use to shoot the the color this is i got this from summit racing it don't even have a brand on it i think it's i think it, it says summit racing on the when i bought it so then this one is also 1.4 tip but i actually like this one this one has a much better trigger look and i dropped it <laughs> But the trigger is, I don't know, just smoother. And the air cap is a little different when you take it apart. So, But I use this when I sprayed the top of the core support. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this one. I got me some uh, paint, uh, paint thinner and this little squirt bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this out and get it ready for the uh, 2K primer. And we'll put two coats of that on those two pieces that I'm going to block. And we'll paint those probably another day. But I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to paint the trim with the satin black. So, get this gun cleaned up. Speaking of uh, paint guns, I'm actually trying to decide which gun I want to get to paint the car with. Like I said, these two guns that I got now, I've just been using those for primer. Well, primer on the Husky gun, and then I shot the color, the satin black with the, with the Summit gun. But I'm thinking about getting a 3M gun or a... Uh, I don't know one of those expensive spectrum spectrum guns so but i'm definitely not going to shoot it with this gun but if i end up painting my car myself which i mean i'm gonna paint it myself but if, if i end up painting it at home with with the booth i'm gonna buy a 60 gallon compressor so that way i can use the hvlp gun if not then i'll end up getting the lvlp which more than likely i probably won't cause like i said this is only a 20 gallon tank so either way i'm definitely gonna need a bigger compressor so I might as well go ahead and get the 60 gallon instead of getting like a 30 gallon or something like that so if I get a 60 gallon, then I can go ahead and get a nice paint gun. So when I lay down this, this metallic and the pearls, it'll be nice. So, so we're gonna go ahead and real quick, go in here and uh, shoot this 2K primer. I already got it all mixed up. I'm just sitting out here waiting, trying to, waiting for the clock to click, click. I think I got like two minutes. So let me get in there and get this shot and we'll try to get this wrapped up. All right, so we got the, the first coat of 2K primer on those two pieces over there. I think the flash time between 
coats on this one is 10 to 15 minutes, so let me go double check. So we can go ahead and knock this out. So this is what I was talking about on the fans. So I brought this fan out here. This one is 750 watts. The 750 watt fan is, uh, hold on, let me take this mask off. The 750 watt fan I got running the, the intake, but this is the fan that came with it for the, for the, for the inflation is 550. The other one was like three something on the intake. I could switch those two around, but it's, it seems to be working pretty good like that. So let me double check the spec sheet or the, uh, it's actually on the back of the can, but let me double check that on coat time. It is, what time is it? I said I was gonna leave the house at five o'clock. It's 4.32, so 4.15-ish for a second coat. So 4.15-ish maybe. And this this is the primer I'm using. Like I say, just Summit, 2K primer gray. Uh, 12 to 15 minutes between coats. All right, so 4.15, I'm gonna go and spray the second coat. And then, wait, not 4, yeah, not 4.15, 4.45. Cause like I said, it was 4.30 when I finished. So for the yeah, 445, it's actually pretty hot, so it may not even take that long. I probably can do 10 minutes, but we'll give it to 445. And then after that, 15 minutes, I can actually go ahead and spray the other. I can go ahead and spray the side of black because that's on a different piece. So we'll spray that and then we'll come right behind it and spray this. I already got it mixed up though. So matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the black. So that way it'll be ready. So it likes so, because I'm shooting that in a different gun anyway. I'm gonna clean the gun, but I still I'll have this one ready to go. So like I said, we're going with the satin black, hot rod, single stage, acrylic urethane. I was gonna say enamel. And there's the paint code and satin. This one also mixes, you can barely read this, man. This is, it's small, but it's four to one as well. Where is it at? There it is. Let's see if you can see it, if I can get it to focus. Hold up, let me see. It's so small, there it go. You can see four, you have four parts paint to one part reducer, I mean activator, and you can reduce it 10% if you need to. Um, I think, that I reduce it? I can't remember if I reduce it or not when I paint the core support, but like I say, you make the call. I'm gonna shoot this with a 1.4 tip, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get it going. All right, if y'all can hear me, I'm about to spray the first coat of satin black on trim pieces with my Summit gun. We're at about, 25 psi on this one. Let me turn my fan pattern down. Let's see, how did I shoot that last time? We're gonna shoot it like this. I probably should shoot it the other way. That's yeah, I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna shoot it the long way. Y'all yeah, know why I did that. Let me turn it down. So. Yeah, First coat, not bad. All right, so we got everything sprayed. We go ahead and put everything up. So I got two coats of satin black on the window trim, the lower windshield piece. I went ahead and 2K primered it as well as the the uh the box the air box top it has some divots in it so i'm gonna try to body work that out we'll probably shoot that next weekend i'm gonna try to go ahead and get some color 
on the inner fenders. We'll go ahead and shoot the white pearl and see what that looks like. But thumbs up to Warsan. Thank you once again for, for sending me this boo. So if, once again, everybody, this was not a sponsored video. They did not pay me. They simply asked me if I was interested in trying out the booth. They sent it to me for free. It asked me to give my honest opinion. In my opinion, I give it two thumbs up. Now, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to see if I can get. They have this thing called uh, the elephant snout. I think they have one. If not, I'll, I'll see. But it connects to the outside of the filter and it has an exhaust fan that actually would draw, draw the, the exhaust out that I helped because when I shot this, it wasn't that big of a deal with overspray, but everybody know once you shoot clear coat, you get more overspray. So I wanna see, I'm gonna shoot it this this uh, next weekend coming up and see how it does with clear coat, but I'm gonna see if I can contact them and if I can get that um, the elephant snout because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need it. For these small parts, it might not be so bad, but if I decide to paint the car in this, I'm definitely gonna need it. But once again, man, thank you for watching your boy. I appreciate all the support. Follow me on Instagram and uh, TikTok at PennyLS1. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell. Stay tuned. I got a lot coming. This car is going to get painted sooner or later. I'm feeling on driving it this summer. My birthday is in June. It probably won't be painted by then. Hopefully. We'll see. But uh, stay tuned for more. PennyLS1. Holla at your boy. I was just calling you um, about the flow mask you put on your car. How much you said it was at Summit? Just give me a call.